there is coming a prophet. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 and 18. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brethren. Him you shall hear. And I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren. And I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak to them all I command him. Moses was one of the greatest Old Testament prophets. As far as the Jewish people were concerned, they identified themselves. When they recognized, when they spoke about their heritage, they would, of course, definitely speak about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and they would definitely speak about Moses and David and so on. So Moses was one of those outstanding prophets of God, whom God used to bring his people out of Egypt and into the towards the land of promise. And Moses told the people of Israel that God would raise up a prophet among them, like himself. But he said, you've got to listen to him. Him you shall hear. And Moses said that this prophet will be raised up. God will put his words in his mouth and he will speak everything I command him. Who was Moses pointing to? Because when you come into the New Testament, as the New Testament looks back and it says, this is Jesus. Who Moses spoke about, that God will raise up a prophet like himself. And the New Testament writers understood, recognized, the early church recognized that this prophet that Moses spoke about was none other than the Lord Jesus Christ who came. Now, of course, during his time, during his earthly ministry, the people rec recognized him as a prophet. Said, no, haven't you heard about Jesus the prophet, the one who was mighty in word and deed, uh, who was crucified? So they recognized him as a prophet. When he raised the dead, they said, oh, God has raised up a prophet and God has visited his people. So they recognized Jesus as a prophet. And it was shortly after that, that they saw the connection between what Moses had spoken and Jesus Christ being the fulfillment of Moses' prophecy. So here, once again, we see hundreds of years before his birth and his coming into the world, there is a prophecy of Moses pointing to Jesus Christ as the prophet, as the one sent by God, as the one who would speak the very words of God, and the one to whom people should listen. So Moses is saying, there's someone greater than me. Don't listen to me. Listen to him. Listen to the one who's going to come. Listen to Jesus Christ. A prophecy foretelling the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we bow before you and we worship you, God. As we see throughout scripture, that you foretold the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in such detail. We worship you, God, for what you've done. And we worship you, Jesus, for, you, for your coming into this world. We honor you and we thank you for all that you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.